you're watching this video, you're probably wondering why is note taking ineffective? My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next generation note taking and planning technique. I've been helping experienced professionals to manage knowledge and information more effectively for the last 20 years. This is one of my favorite topics. Why is note taking ineffective? And actually the reason is incredibly simple because the note taking we, technique we all use, which I call previous generation note taking is guess how many years old? 50, 100, 200. It is over 2000 years old and hasn't changed one iota. Basically it's a recording technique. Teacher says something or person in authority says something we record to be used at a later point in time. It hasn't changed at all. And because it is purely a recording technique, whether used in, on pen and paper or on a laptop, so all a laptop has done, it's just basically encoded a highly inefficient recording technique that we call note taking. And the keyboard's designed to do exactly that. And it's highly inefficient. And the laptop, you know, for example, the screen is sizes uh, means that even with the inefficient technique, we've now reduced the amount of information we can see at a glance compared with a A4 sheet of paper. And for myself, you know, this, this note taking technique had a huge impact. It meant that, you know, when I was in education, um, because I was just recording, there was quite a lot of time I was recording things and I thought I understood, but I didn't. And it'd only be weeks later when I tried to figure out everything that I suddenly realized I didn't understand. And then that put me under huge pressure and potentially jeopardized my exams. And the implication on my life as something quite simple two months before, like an inefficient technique, can be huge and potentially disastrous. So, and when I went into the workplace, the implications were actually much faster. And that is because in the workplace, there are two important things, relationships and knowledge. And we meet, need to be able to manage them simultaneously. You know, whether it's conference calls, meetings, interviews, coaching sessions. But let's take a demanding meeting, for example. So if I've just got a recording technique and there's a lot of information, a lot of complexity, and I'm just recording, but I can't actually use the knowledge real time, and I've got to wait till afterwards, that creates huge risk and huge pressure. So then I'll revert to note take, um, sorry, listening, which means I've lost all the information I've, uh, I've written down and I'm just trying to listen. But then that means I'm relying on my short term memory, which isn't, you know, for all humans, isn't great. So, and then, there, I mean, I've just thought of another example, you know, trying to be, trying to listen, capture, analyze, question and interact with a, somebody else is crucial for business to manage knowledge and the relationship using previous generation note taking, it's virtually impossible. So I'm going to show you a solution to how to make not, not only note taking effective, but actually how to empower you and to give you a competitive edge over everyone else, clients or colleagues. And I'll show you, it's really simple. The key is to switch in terms of technique and mindset to next generation note taking. And the difference is really simple. Um, with previous generation note taking, it's a recording technique, you record information. With next generation note taking, its principal function is to create knowledge, which is a deep understanding of the information and to do it real time and to be able to use it real time. And there are four key elements. Now the first one is deep filtering. So if we take, there is a reason why the one common note-taking technique is not effective and why it actually hinders our brain's performance. Now, deep filtering, I will look for what I think is the important information. So I'll take re reason, uh, I'll probably take why, the one, I'll probably take common. I know it's all about note-taking, so I'll probably miss that, but I'll take technique. Um, uh, let me have a look. So reason why one, one common technique, um, I'll probably take not effective and why it actually hinders our brain's performance. So I'll take the word hinders. That's interesting. I, 
I'll probably decide this as I'm sort of harvesting the knowledge. I'm either going to take brain, but I think I might miss, miss that out because again, I know what I'm talking about and I'll take probably capture performance. So that's the deep processing. As you do this as someone speaking to you and you just get better at it as time goes on. The next is, um, sorry, that was the deep filtering. The next is what I've just talked about is the deep processing. So you take that information, you break it into single units and you reconnect it. That is a game changer. And that is what transforms, including this, an ineffective, ineffectual previous generation note-taking technique into something that empowers us. And I'll show you how it works. So I would take reason and I'm going to abbreviate, which is what I do normally, one, common uh, technique uh, that's not effective. Okay, I'm just abbreviating that. And then the final bit and hinders performance. I'm gonna miss out brain because I know that's what it's all about, hinders performance. Now, by the time I've done the deep filtering and the deep processing, my understanding suddenly shoots up. And this is a game changer because it's not understanding at some point in the, in the future, it's understanding now real time, which means I, can, I feel more confident, I feel more relaxed, and I can engage much better with the people I'm working with. And this has been tested by cognitive neuroscientists. And here comes the first key percentage measurement, which is crucial when managing knowledge, which is RTU, real-time understanding. Now, cognitive neuroscientists have measured um, previous generation note-taking, and they say real-time understanding, complex meeting, presentation, about 64%. That's not great. Within two weeks of switching to next generation note-taking, immediately your real-time understanding goes up to 76%. That's a huge increase within two weeks. After a year, it goes up even further to 84%. So a 20% increase in real-time understanding. And then for people who are dyslexic, and I happen to be dyslexic, it goes up to 87%. I mean, that's a phenomenal difference. And so anybody else who's listening or using pre pre previous generation note-taking, whether handwritten or on a laptop or on a tablet, this is a huge competitive edge. The next thing that's the game changer is the second um, uh, key performance indicator, and I'm going to use a green pen just for it to jump out, is GA, which is glance access. Now, I can look at that at a glance and see what's there. I can see the major headings. I can see that I've been chunking information here. I can also see what is the subheading it's coming off. I can see lots of things. I can see more questions. Um, I can see more links. I can see, actually this, by breaking it up, generates ideas as well in a way that I can never do with that. Not only that, I'm able to capture an hour's worth of knowledge on one page and straight away see all the major headings, chapter headings, paragraph headings, five minutes in, 30 minutes in, right at the end. And I'm able to do that and speak with someone and capture the knowledge, analyze it, question it, simultaneously as I'm working with someone. That is a game changer. So I've taken an ineffective previous note generation note taking technique and I've switched to next generation note taking where the emphasis is converting information into knowledge to be able to be used real time, game changer. I hope you've liked this and if you have liked it and if you're a listener, start capturing knowledge externally. If you're a previous generation note taker, whether on paper or, on a, or you're typing on a computer, then please consider switching to next generation note taking. Remember there are some key points here. Um, deep, deep filtering is number one, deep processing is number two, and then a dynamic structuring. So working out really good headings, subheadings, chunking information. All this makes a huge difference for you. Um, and of course, please feel free to use the rudiments of smart wisdom or join me as a fellow information athlete and I will help you learn smart wisdom. Um, please feel free to comment. And of course, please share with any friends, clients, colleagues, anyone who you know is fed up with note taking or thinks there's a better way or anyone who wants to improve their performance or gain a competitive edge. 
So particularly people like salespeople. Um, that's it, I think. I've covered everything. I want to thank you very much for watching this video and have a fantastic rest of the day. Ah, one final thing at the top or down below or on the sides, you'll find a link and I've put together some more tips on how to manage information. Thank you.